Have you ever waved your hand under a public bathroom faucet and marveled as the water magically poured out? No knobs, no levers, no effort? It's a small convenience most of us take for granted, but behind that moment of touchless technology is a rather clever piece of engineering. Automatic faucets, also called sensor faucets or touchless taps, are all around us, in airports, malls, offices, and even our homes. But how do they actually know when to turn on? Is it motion? Is it heat? Some kind of secret camera watching your hands? Don't worry, it's not as spooky as it sounds. Today we're diving into the mechanics, the history, and the tiny genius hidden inside that shiny chrome fixture. Right here on History of Simple Things. Let's start with the basics. The core component of an automatic faucet is its sensor, typically an infrared sensor. This sensor is the faucet's version of eyes. It's usually positioned near the base of the faucet spout, angled down toward the sink. When your hands enter this detection zone, the sensor recognizes a change in the infrared light pattern and triggers the faucet to turn on the water. So how does this infrared thing work exactly? Infrared light is invisible to the human eye, but it's great for detecting objects and movement. The faucet continuously emits an infrared beam. When there's nothing underneath, that beam disperses into the empty sink. But when your hands interrupt the beam, some of the infrared light bounces back toward the sensor. The sensor detects this reflection and signals the internal electronics. Hey, there's something here. Time to release the water. But it's not just about seeing motion. It's about seeing it in the right place. That's why waving your hands around a few inches away from the faucet doesn't always work. You have to be in the sweet spot, the sensor's active zone, typically just a few centimeters from the faucet's mouth. Now, when that sensor does its job, it sends a signal to a solenoid valve. Think of this valve as a gatekeeper. The solenoid is an electromagnetic device that, when activated by the sensor, physically opens the valve to let the water flow. As soon as your hands move away and the sensor no longer detects them, the solenoid closes the valve again, stopping the water. So in just milliseconds, your hand breaks an invisible beam, triggers a sensor, activates an electromagnetic valve, and releases water. Like magic, but mechanical. But where does the power come from? Automatic faucets usually get their energy from one of two sources, batteries or a low voltage power supply. In commercial settings like airports or malls, the faucets are often hardwired into the building's power system. In homes or smaller facilities, they might run on simple AA or 9V batteries that last months or even years thanks to the faucet's energy-efficient design. Some models even use small turbines that generate power from the flow of water itself, basically charging themselves as they operate. Now here's something clever. Many modern sensor faucets have microcontrollers inside. These are tiny processors that help fine-tune the faucet's behavior. For instance, they can adjust how sensitive the sensor is how long the water should keep running after you move your hands away, or even detect and adapt to the lighting conditions in the room. Some even have a delay mechanism to prevent water from turning on and off too quickly, avoiding that awkward flickering faucet experience. Let's take a moment to appreciate the design from a hygiene perspective. One of the biggest advantages of automatic faucets is that they're touchless. You don't have to turn a handle that dozens or hundreds of others have touched before you. This dramatically reduces the spread of germs, making them ideal in places where hygiene is a top priority, like hospitals and kitchens. But it's not just about cleanliness. These faucets are also great for water conservation. 
traditional faucets often get left running longer than needed, like when someone's lathering their hands or brushing their teeth. Automatic faucets shut off almost immediately when not in use. According to some studies, they can reduce water usage by up to 70% compared to manual faucets. Multiply that across millions of bathrooms, and you're talking about a serious global impact. Of course, no technology is perfect. If you've ever found yourself frantically waving at a faucet to no avail, you know that sensors can sometimes be finicky. Misalignment, low batteries, or even reflective surfaces in the sink can confuse the sensor. That's why manufacturers constantly tweak the design to improve accuracy and reliability. Now let's take a quick look back in time. The first patented automatic faucet dates back to the 1950s, but it wasn't until the 1980s and 90s that the technology became more practical and affordable. Hotels and airports were early adopters, especially in places like Japan and Europe, where tech-forward design trends caught on fast. As the components became cheaper and more compact, touchless faucets made their way into homes, especially as consumers became more conscious of hygiene and water efficiency. Today, the technology continues to evolve. Some high-end models include capacitive sensors, the same kind used in your smartphone touchscreen, allowing for even more responsive and nuanced control. Others are integrated with smart home systems, so you can turn them on with a voice command or monitor your water usage from an app. And yes, there are even smart faucets that connect to Wi-Fi, respond to Alexa, or let you customize the temperature with a wave pattern. Some even come with built-in LED lights that change color depending on the water temperature. Because why not add a little flair while washing your hands? From invisible light beams to electromagnetic valves, from tiny computers to power-saving circuits, that seemingly simple faucet is a marvel of thoughtful design. It's a story of how modern technology doesn't always have to be flashy. It just has to work quietly, cleanly, and efficiently. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive into the secret life of the automatic faucet. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.